Tom Guy here with a new mod test for Friday, November the 11th, and this is the Lamborghini R6.250. This is by Gaming Flow. 12.6 megabytes to download, 12 slots on console. This is a medium tractor. And there it is, the R R6.250, $185,000 for the base model, 258 horsepower, uh, variable uh, CVT transmission, 435 liters of fuel, 37 miles per hour, for, so nice and quick, and 8.5 tons now. We have some options, as you would expect, wheel brands, Trailborg, Michelin, BKT, Vertistein, Continental, Midas, Nokian, and back to Trailerberg. In Trailerberg, it has the most variety of tire choice as expected. Standard wheel weights, wides, wides and weights, rear twin, twins all around. Michelin, just wides and wides with weights. BKT, same choices there. Vertistein, same there. Continental, Yes, you guessed it, the same. Midas, and yes, we have a running. <laughs> and even Nokian, it is the same. You don't even have the communal or anything. And Trailerberg. So Trailerberg, you get the twins, uh, rear twins or front twins. Twins all around, just so you know, the turning radius is severely limited. Um, it doesn't turn. I mean, it turns, but yeah, it 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 takes a wide berth uh, to turn around with the front twin wheels on there. Beacon lights, we have the standard or LED. Uh, front loader protection, we have a quickie stole or no. So that's just those thingies, protection thingies on the front. They actually don't do anything. It's just cosmetics, just so you know. Warning signs, you have uh, nothing or the, let's say European style. And then we come to the front loader attacher. So you get the uh, actually get a stole, which is not very common actually. Uh, quickie or hower or no. So interesting, you have a stole option. Very nice. Main color we have white as you see it, black, which is a shiny black. Gray, which is actually kind of nice, like kind of a beigey, tanny gray. Light gray, which is more of, yes, that. And then, curiously enough, silver, which looks very much just like a more shiny black. And we'll take a look at that out in the real, well, in on the game map anyways. <clears throat> and then license plates. So, let's hop in. Um, and... Let's just drop the implement for a second because we have one option and we can open and close that door. Oh yes, and of course interior. Very bright and cheery interior actually. Very nice. A little different than your standard um, stuff that you see uh, generally and uh, very good view for those of you who like the in cab. Very nice, actually. Right, uh, and that's it for options in the tractor. Like so, let's hook this up again. So, two hundred and what did it say? Two hundred and two hundred and fifty-eight horsepower. So we have connected to this is a two hundred and fifty horsepower cultivator. And as you would expect, it does pull it along quite nicely. And now this is just the base model. I didn't add any extras or anything. Not that there is a whole lot extra in the way of performance, but we're gonna just show you the turnaround. This is the base game cultivator. Because I always like to see what the workers do when they try to turn around an implement. This implement is not too big for this um, tractor. It is well within its horsepower range, uh, below actually. But it still team seems to take quite a large turnaround and goes quite a ways up the field before he starts to stop turnaround back up. But 
despite all that, he does seem to line it up quite nicely and carry on. So that's that one. Now, moving on to the next test, I uh, hooked up this cedar combination. This is the base game cedar combination. Uh, 300 horsepower rated. Um, it's a bit heavy on the back end, but with the cedar piece that's designed for it and the hose, as you can see, is very nicely, nicely all goes together here. Uh, it actually balances out Quinny pretty nicely. And if we hire a worker, everything goes into uh, work mode and away he goes. And it actually works pretty good. And as for the turnaround procedure, despite the, mm, let's say, let's shall, shall we say um, restricted turning radius? Oh, he's going to get, uh, let's get him out of the way get out of the way um he turns around quite efficiently and away he goes at the actual seven miles per hour which it is actually rated at so very nice there um working quite well um this is the one with that um color we spoke about that was looked like black or chrome or it was supposed to be silver or whatever it was still it looks like a black chrome actually just kind of interesting very shiny now the last test I did was uh, with again with the one of these it has a gray paint that doesn't affect performance of course at all but the twin wheels all around and this is a disc hero and that one is well above its horsepower rating 350 horsepower remember 258 now this is a 350 and if we drop that down higher worker he gets it up to nine miles per hour which is not bad it's rated for 11 miles per hour but considering it's such a big piece of equipment for a medium tractor to pull around it's actually quite impressive and he seems to not be bothered too much with it although the turnaround um is is a bit wide but he does a good job of it i think it is because he's compensating for like he can't the turning radius is pretty bad i think with the twin wheels on the front although these these even without the twin wheels or the single front wheels it seems to take a pretty wide turnaround but as we can see he's uh, lined it up backing up nicely so no problems with the workers uh everything he's gonna straighten out here there he goes like so and we'll just stop it here uh because we want to take a look at the lights it's fairly well lit it's not 360 lighting but it's pretty good uh the beacons that's the led beacon and signals left and right uh, the uh, the door opening, of course. L1 and right stick up and down. It's got the front uh, three-point link, of course. And yes, again, remember it has the front loader option, so you can put a front loader on it, which is nice. Might come in handy for um, a nice yard truck, you know, medium field plus yard work and all that stuff so and 39 miles per hour and takes a little bit to get up to speed but 39 miles an hour is about the one of the fast Ooh, hit a little bit of a lump there <clears throat> is top top three speed for medium tractors for sure uh there isn't a the old the JCB I think is the only one that's faster uh, aside from some of the of the maybe so, a couple of the modded tractors, as in highly modded tractors. But 39 miles per hour is nothing to sneeze at for a nice little medium tractor. So that's a nice little bonus there for sure. 
Very nice. And it seems pretty stable too, so it's not too tippy or anything like that. It has some nice body movement. And cab movement. Very nice. Altogether, a very nice little tractor. And there it is. That's the Lamborghini R6.250 by Gaming Flow. 12.6 megabytes to download. 12 slots on console. Thank you for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy. And remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.